This is the 1997 West Bay 58 Sunship. This is a pilot house motor yacht. This boat is engineered to the highest North American standards. She cruises at 18 knots and has a top end around 23 knots. Very performance oriented. It's large enough that you do not need to leave anybody behind at the dock, but yet comfortably two people can handle running this boat no problem. This is a rock solid build. Just a beautiful boat. Just classic lines on this boat, and as you can see, just kept in meticulous condition. It's got traditional styling with some very contemporary flair. start back here with the large molded in dive platform as you can see just huge and that will lead us into our transom door to our incredibly spacious cockpit this is large enough to be set up for some nice dining at sunset just a ton of room for some comfortable furniture to turn this into a comfortable relaxing lounge the cockpit you'll see a large aft sunshade and along her sides you'll see molded in steps that leads to a big wide comfortable walkway on both port and starboard. Molded in steps that lead up to a stainless steel ladder for quick access to the upper helm. And let me bring you down and show you that you here lift a cover and you have a nice grill area. And down to the left you open up a cabinet and there you'll see tucked away nicely engine controls and bow thruster controls for the boat right here in the cockpit. On the starboard side, a nice sink. Directly below the sink, you open one cabinet and there is your fresh water and hoses ready for you when you're ready to wash the boat down. Move in and give you first impressions of the salon. The first thing you'll note is just the comfortable, very contemporary furnishings in the salon. And all the honey oak finish on all the wood. Just very well done. Beautiful West Bay. Lots of nice touches within the boat. Of course you have a full sound system flat screen TV but one thing I want to definitely bring to your attention is just the huge windows this is just mammoth windows all along this boat and right now the shades are pretty much drawn I opened one just to give you a sense of the size of the window And moving forward, that will bring us up to our dinette and our galley. First thing you'll notice is the full size refrigerator, double door refrigerator, freezer, Corian countertop. And this galley features all your modern conveniences from a coffee maker to a large toaster oven, garbage compactor garbage disposal, microwave oven, four burner stove, and then if we flip around to the other side, an ice maker. And conveniently located just forward of the galley is your helm station. And as you can see, it is just a beautiful helm station. 
Let's start off by giving you a shot of the captain's chair. And this is a stainless steel destroyer wheel at the center line. And let's move on up to the electronics. And first and foremost, we have our North Star 952X GPS plotter along with the North Star 6100i color GPS charting system. Along with that is the North Star Network 64 mile radar and the North Star Network digital fish finder. That will bring us down to our Simrad AP26 autopilot. We have the ICOM M126 VHF and as you can see here, it just has everything you're going to need to operate and run this boat safely. And directly starboard to the helm is our circular stair leading to our three staterooms. The stateroom you see as you come down the stairs is the bunk stateroom. As you can see, everything is just tastefully decorated. Very large bunk room, plenty of storage, closet space, lights. Just very well done. And give you some shots of the lower bunk. And the upper bunk. Directly forward of that will give you a good idea of the first head. As you can see here, once again, tastefully decorated. Big, large, full shower stall. Toilet. But just a very nice, well appointed and large head. Way forward will bring us to our VIP stateroom. This is as beautiful a VIP stateroom as I've seen. Center line queen and just, just beautiful finish. Beautiful mirrored cabinets. walk around berth just wonderful easy to get in and out of chest of drawers they just do a great job remembering that we need to pack a lot of things for that long cruise that'll bring us to the large lit and walking directly forward brings us to the master stateroom and as you can see, this is a full width master stateroom. Just huge. And that's a center line queen. Storage underneath. But everywhere you look, just a beautiful fit and finish on this boat. Between the long chest of drawers and the nightstand brings you to our first closet cedar lined and huge but they just do a beautiful job of fitting everything in and then if we move over across you'll see a large almost walk-in cedar lined closet just huge amount of space and right besides the closet open the door and you have your full size washer dryer and next on the tour is the master head take a look at all the counter space they give you plenty of storage everywhere you look storage behind those mirrors more storage and a very large shower stall with a door but just very well done. Now directly aft of the dinette you'll see your circular stair that goes up to the top side. First thing I'd like to show you about the top side is how everything is covered. Even the dinghy is covered to keep everything out of the elements which is what you would expect from this owner. The first thing you'll notice is the davit there, it's a 1500 pound marquee low profile davit, ease of getting your boat in and out of the water. And this is a 14 Nuverania tender with a 40 horsepower Honda 4 stroke. And I would of course 
try to get you a look at that, but this is all tied down with a cover and I don't want to disrupt it the way the owner wants it. And above that is your aluminum radar arch. And that of course is hinged to lower. And above that is your bimini, large bimini. And in the aft there, you'll see a Crusaver Offshore life raft. And then beneath these covers is your seating for eight with a table. And then you have your captain's and first mate's chair. And we're moving the helm cover on this upper station. And of course, not surprised to find just ultimate care given to this upper helm station. Not only is it covered, but he has a piece of Isinglass designed to lay over the electronics to keep all electronics safe on your upper helm. This upper helm is going to have the North Star 6001 networked with charting radar fish finder, Simrad AP26 autopilot, a Canad Auto 406 EPIRB, and then of course another ICOM M422 VHF. And let's return to the cockpit and take a look at the star of the show. And down we go into one of the most spacious and clean engine rooms a person could ask for. These are 600 horsepower Caterpillar diesels. Of course the star of our show. But if you look around it is just meticulously maintained. There isn't a grease spot anywhere in this entire engine room. Just really a testament to how this boat is cared for. Looks like everything is very easy access and very comfortable for the person working on the engines. Organization seems to be the key. And I just don't see how anybody could walk away unimpressed. And I just want to give some shots facing aft. Shots of the generator. And I wanted to lead you directly from the engine room to the lazarette dead center in the cockpit. And this is something special. Let's go down. And first thing you'll note when you're down here is one flick of a switch and you have lights. And let's just look around here. I mean you want to talk about organization. There is no boat on the market today that beats this boat in organization everything you possibly need or could want with an easy access your house batteries dead center it is just amazing for a boat this size you go into all the working areas and see not only this organization but this level of cleanliness I mean they're just there is no getting dirty in any area of this boat. And I just give them an A plus on this setup. Talk about access though. Wonderful access to anything you might need to get to. 